What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI. I have another Dell Optiplex 7040 mini tower. This is a tear down disassembly video. I'll show you how to do that. So first off, uh, we're, we're sure, make sure you wear latex gloves. You need a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. And you're going to move the side cover panel to do that. The little clip right here, you press it down your finger and slide it to the left side to move the side cover panel. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to remove the front cover basil. To do that, it's a little clips right here. Be really gently to remove it with your finger really gently. Same with the other side right here in the top. Press it up the finger, the little clips right here with your finger. Be really gently. And remove the front cover basil. This is a Dell Optiplex 7040 mini tower. So remove the front cover basil. Now remove the side cover panel right here. This is the side cover right here for the side of the panel here. And this slide slides out, be really gentle, and it comes right off. And it comes right off. Now, what we're going to do is uh, remove the, right here, the, the, the 5.25 bell, we'll press it down right here to remove the caddy here. And disconnect the SATA and power cable. For the hard drive or if you have a solid state drive connected press it down to release the caddy here and disconnect uh have a solid state drive installed in here so we're gonna get to get disconnected and now what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna disconnect the memory in here Now, we're going to go ahead and start off the, remove the power supply. What you're going to do is disconnect the four pin right here. And disconnect right here. There's another clip right here. It's like a band. You have to bend it to release it. And... You can use a fill your flathead screwdriver right here. It's like a plastic. And it comes right out. And to remove the optical drive, there's a little clip right here. I'll show you guys right here. You press on it and I'll move the camera here. You're gonna press on it right here to release the optical drive here. And you press on it, press it down to release it. Okay, so, so let me go ahead and remove that optical drive right there. And now make sure we're gonna disconnect the power. There's a power switch right here, the cable. This is for a power on switch right here. Disconnect that, it's in the top right there. And uh, what we're going to do is disconnect, uh, move the camera closer. SATA cable you can disconnect. And all the other cables disconnected to the motherboard. Make sure everything is disconnected. And there's an A pin right here for the power. We're going to get that disconnected too. Now, remove the SATA cable. and internal speaker right there and we're going to use the Phillips screwdriver right here in the back there will be three screws you can use uh so there'll be three screws use a Phillips screwdriver and uh you're gonna do is uh, there's gonna be a little let's see there's a little clip right there you press it with your flathead screwdriver to reach the secure lock right there so press it down right there and show you guys a little bit clear right there the blue right there you with the screwdriver you gotta press it down to release the power supply like this it's a secure lock so and remove the power supply and it comes right out Really easy, really quick. 
now disconnect the internal speaker right here and just this little clip right in the left and the right you press on it to release it so here's internal speaker and you're gonna disconnect all the other SATA cables here this is the power and the last part what we're gonna do is uh, motherboard remove the PCI brackets right here in the back and uh, disconnect uh, for the fan right here get that disconnected right here for the rear fan, so four pin get that disconnected and uh, there's another one in here look like a sensor okay here's another one right there and you're gonna disconnect right here for the this is for the CPU fan right here cooler and it's a four pin right here it's located right in the middle get that disconnected and what we're gonna do is remove the heatsink fan cooler here and use a fill screw there'll be two screws on top two in the bottom And there'll be last one in the top right here. Okay, the heatsink fan is disconnected. Now we're gonna remove the processor, and to do that, there's a little clip right here. You press with your finger really gently to the right and it comes right out and just use a really easy really quick now make sure everything is disconnected to the motherboard and uh, let's see so we're gonna go ahead and start removing the motherboard to do that they're gonna be one two three four five six seven eight total eight screws we have to remove so what i'm going to do is start off from the bottom right here so we got three screws now there's one here on the left side here And the one right here. So total, total eight screws and make sure what you're going to do that is disconnect the fan right here, the rear fan, it's a 92 millimeter and it's really easy to come out with just a, like this, really gently, has like a rubber and it comes right out really easy, just gently, it's using like a rubber feet instead of the, the screws and it's a 90, let's see, it's a yeah, let me look at the size. Yeah, it's actually, it's not a 92 millimeter, it's a 80 millimeter fan. With the four pin, four wire right here. It's a four wire. 80 millimeter, okay, so we removed that. Now we can go ahead and remove the motherboard and let's see. Make sure everything's disconnected though, nothing's connected to it. That's about it, so now we're gonna go and try to remove the motherboard. And here's the back side. So we remove the motherboard and uh, let's see, that's the, here's the back. And let's see, so that's about it you guys. We removed everything uh, from the motherboard. There's nothing else to remove here. 
and uh, let's see yeah it's all empty so yeah guys this would be the end of the video this is for the Dell Optiplex 7040 mini tower thanks for watching bye